new at 10, a new St. Louis rule cracking down on the horse-drawn carriages you always see downtown. City leaders say they're trying to protect the health and safety of the horses. Five on your side, Jenna Barnes is live downtown to explain why carriage companies say it's going to put them out of business. Jenna? Yeah, Ann, I am here with Bud and Bud's handlers behind us, Donna and James, and they are actually breaking this rule right this very minute. That's because the high today was above 93 degrees, so these guys aren't supposed to be out at all tonight. But they say if they follow that rule, there is no way they can stay in business, and they're not alone. All right, Luke, bridle up. Ed and Luke have their on, routine baby. down pat. Good boy. Ed says he knows Luke better than some of his own family. He's like part of my soul. After 14 years together at the St. Louis Carriage Company. Come on, Luke. But this shift is different than the 3,000 others they've spent together. Because it's getting ridiculous. This time, Ed and Luke are breaking a new city rule by doing their job. We are not going to abide by the rule. It's a new rule adopted last week that says horse-drawn carriage companies can't be on the streets for 24 hours if the high temperature is predicted to be 93 degrees or above. So why can't we come out when the temperature cools? Uh, that is the, the, the big issue. Ed says that's the way they've always done business, and for a couple of weeks, the new city rule allowed for that. But a city spokesman says that was because of a legal mix-up and the newer, stricter rule was always the plan. My boss can't stay in business. None of us can. They're trying, they're, they're going to rule us out of business. The city says this new rule is designed to protect the health and safety of the horses. Ed says he already does that. I wouldn't do this job if these animals weren't taken care of well. So he says he and Ed and the rest of the horses and drivers they know will keep working, even if they aren't supposed to. So the mayor's spokesman says that they don't want to put anyone out of business, but he also says that the streets department can revoke the license of any company that is seen breaking this rule. Live downtown, Jenna Barnes, five on your side. Jenna, thank you.